Nearly 27 million American adults suffer from low vision, even blindness. Experts say as many baby boomers age, one in three will experience vision loss. Fox 13's Dave Nemeth joins us now with more on the challenges faced by those with visual impairment. Dave. Yeah, hi guys. Uh, those challenges can be significant, by the way, and most people who've lost or are losing their vision will tell you they were not prepared for the changes they have to make in their everyday lives, which can often lead to mental despair. A tap of his foot, a puff of breath, and Richard England is off. I had a friend named Ramblin' Bob. In recent years, England's vision has faded. It's a whole new world, you know, that you're dealing with something you've never dealt with before. Voice over on mail. Diagnosed with macular degeneration at age 47, the world he knew lost focus. He's now legally blind. And the worst thing that you've finally come to terms with is you can't drive anymore. For Angie, a retired nurse, a third failed corneal transplant meant losing her sight, but not her sense of humor. Not being able to see faces. I mean, right now, all you guys look like Brad Pitt. But it did take time for her to come to terms with it. I felt like I was walking dead. Somebody hit me in the stomach. I, it, it just is wrong. Loss of mobility and independence is difficult. Statistically, people with visual impairment or blindness have a 200% increase in the risk of clinical depression. As boomers age, the number of Americans with low vision is expected to skyrocket from 2.9 million in 2010 to 5 million by 2030. The key say public officials is to reach out for help early. We basically teach people how to continue to live their lives. For the last century, Hadley, a nonprofit organization, has assisted with the scary transition of vision loss, providing online resources, support, and in person consultation, all of it at no cost. So maybe it's a, some, something as simple as contrast. Like that. Maybe it's something as simple as um, using their smartphone to magnify what they're reading. Relearning independence is tough at any age, but not impossible. I am not going to let the fact that I can't see keep me from doing anything. Oh, I can do anything as long as I put, put my mind to it. You know, you realize that you go on. You know, it's another journey. You're going, you're going to do better because you have to. I did a booming forward segment on macular degeneration not too long ago. Science is moving forward and helping those with vision loss in a number of medicinal ways, but patients say that still doesn't change the mental anguish that comes with losing one's sight. In studio, Dave Nemeth, Fox 13 News, Utah.